it. I'm quitting Pep Squad. I'm quitting school. I'm never going back again. And if anybody calls me, tell them I'm dead. Well, it must be serious. She's not taking phone calls. <laughs> Where is she? Where is my sister? She went upstairs. Aha! Uh -huh. I'll nail her on her home turf. No, nah, you're not nailing nobody. What happened? I've been waiting for something like this since I was two. <laughs> You passed a test. Enlighten us. I'd be glad to. Uh, this is according to Cheryl Brewer, whose older sister not only goes to Lanford High, but is also on the student council and had a ringside seat for the event of the century. Get to the point, Edna. <laughs> okay, this is great. Okay, here goes. Okay, here goes. Hotshot Becky is standing up to give her speech in front of all her snotty high school friends. Georgina Wellen. Linda Ferriman, Diane the Schnoz Varelli, <laughs> and Mr. Perfect, Jimmy Meltrigger. There she is, all dressed up, trying to look so cool, with her hair perfect that she spent 45 minutes on in the bathroom. Well, okay. Well, just as she completes the line, I'd like to thank the student council for allowing me to speak my mind. It happened. What happened? Becky cut the cheese. <laughs> People are already calling her Connor the Bomber. Darlene, give it a rest. Oh, poor Becky. She should be proud. Becky Connor, the only woman to break the sound barrier without a plane. You know this could have happened to you. I think I'm going to go upstairs and see how her day went. Oh, no. I think you're just going to go on in the kitchen and fix yourself a snack. I'm not hungry. Well, then go out there and stay there till you are. Well, now what? Funny. <laughs> this is totally serious. <laughs> Why don't you go up upstairs and talk to her? Because I figure this is your area of expertise. <laughs> okay. Okay. I owe you one. <laughs>